Hello, welcome. After a long journey, I've finally completed the worlds that were made for this game by playtesters during playtesting, so now we're crossing a threshold, going into a world created after release, Haunted Manor by Kulibreka. This world is designed to have a slightly higher difficulty than Tower of Destiny and to put more emphasis on world exploration. Good luck! World version 106. Alright, let's play. Alright, so I accidentally hit play, that's why that music didn't uh, start quite at the start. So I saw this just a moment ago. Alright, so entryway, we got trees and grass and a waypoint and a little pool of water. Alright, um, room count for this was 40, I believe, so it's medium size. That's almost a sneaky path through there, but not quite. Alright, bent. Yeah, alright, I'm giving you like a much more flavorful exploration map here. This is neat. So I could go around the bend, or I could go straight. Alright. So if I had something to put on there, which I would have if I could unlock this, I could go over that way and scare... Yeah, okay, I see how to do this. This way I can do now, but I need a prime key first. So there's one over there. Sure, I'm locked by the obvious, so I gotta get west somehow. Another one here. Gotta get west somehow. And I'm looking at this. Oops. But it does not connect in any way that I can interact with now. So, we're going around the bend. Forest rescue, here we go. First puzzle. Okay. So, sacrifice here for that bomb bug to die. It's not really gonna do anything else. It's not blowing this up because there's no reason for it to move south. There's going to be a way down. Flying snake here. I need this in the water, sure. Okay, so... Release slugs. They could both come out. This is taunted by that. That's also... Oh, that's interesting. So the flying snake needs to get here somehow. I guess I'll just toggle that twice, make sure this isn't on it. I'm not sure about the slugs yet, it seems like I can just open this and kill them without doing anything additional. Let's see about just dealing with Flying Snake on its own. Oh, I have to sacrifice my block. Sure. Oh, what's this? Well, okay, block could get me down here, I note. So I could just leave the room to the south if this is a traversable edge. I wonder if I should put in, like, some way to highlight whether edges are traversable or not. I guess I can see that there's water here, but from here I don't know if there's, like, a stepping stone down there or... or what. Hmm. Yeah, I should do something about that. Uh, right. So, anyway. Flying Snake released that. I can just... Let's see just, just what happens if I take the simple actions. Oh, that goes away. I did not notice you were on a toggle floor. Alright, fair enough. So now I can't go over there. So, this is largely about Flying Snake pathing, huh? And all the paths I'm seeing lead to me, not to this little gap. So, let's route backward through here. This is why I needed the slugs, maybe? Except I won't be able to kill them after they're in this area, steering my friend around. So yeah, here's the issue. Like, you're not gonna go north there. You're not gonna go north here. You're not gonna go north there. Now we're just kind of stuck together, and you can't get to the altar the way I want. Okay. So something else needs to happen somehow. None of this is interactable. Like, there's a lot going on in this area, but none of it does anything as far as I can see. So somehow slugs would seemingly need to be... Like, they can't get here because there are hot coals. Also, it's not the right kind of turn for them. Like, I want the flying snake to come out of here so that I can sacrifice it on the altar. I'm pretty sure that's my goal. Nothing else can go in this water. Uh, 
I have slugs and I have a means of redirecting them. Aha. So... Well, no. How would the slugs ever die subsequently is the issue. Ah, with that, that would let me get to them. Okay, so don't worry about where the slugs go other than to use them to create a smooth surface for this flying snake. So right here is a real good spot? Mm, no. Okay, yeah, so we need, like, slugs in flight, <laughs> sure, to redirect things in some nice way. I can, so these two can interact, sure. I should look for a stable cycle. Here's one. Back and forth there, that's probably healthy. So I probably want to insert a slug in here. Mm. Maybe. I have two of them. I'm not sure I need two of them. Okay, so you. So first of all. Oh, I'm gonna have an issue here, right. How would I turn north in that spot? That does look like an issue. For you to get out here, you need an obstacle... Well, really, right here. Wait, yeah, this is a... This is a... A slug bouncing place. So one slug inserts here. I have one more to allocate. Right here. Okay. So this loop and this loop. Those are what I want. Alright. So... I suppose the way I'll handle this is to have one go that way. One at a time. There's gonna be some poison, that's probably fine. I can also clean it up. Alright, nice and clean, and just in time to get you where I want you. Problem is, push block's not quite in the right place. Let's try... Hmm, can't make it turn that tight. Complicating things a bit. I can maybe get this push block back if I do it like... Hmm. Not really. No, that's... there's no getting it back from there. So I can make a turn like this, but that tree is there. And it needs to be, so... Slug needs to approach kind of coming west to east here, doesn't it? Alright, there are ways to do that, probably. Yeah, that's actually kind of a tricky spot to get a slug into. Let's try the other spot first. Okay. And how do you want to do that? I can set it north or west if there's a barrier to the north. Alright, so if I set it north on oh no. that. No, you'll come back, so you'll just bounce back directly. Then I'd want to send you south. Oh, hold on, this isn't a. This is not a slug cycle. No, no, that's not stable at all. I have a flaw in my plan. Okay. So. Let's make a new one. When I use this switch. Alright, we're really getting into it. The first puzzle. This is fine. When I use this switch. I can either have you move west here or west here. Both result in essentially the same thing. This could be a stable slug spot. And that's all I need. Yeah, okay, so here's spot number one. Okay, and I see how to get it in there. Alright, I have a plan. Like this. I'm off by one. 
Now I can't get that back. Okay, well I guess I need to do some cleaning in the meantime. Oh boy, there's a lot happening here. Okay, I can get around. That didn't help me. Yeah, I can't really get around. Okay, so... <laughs> so, uh, routing this. I'm in a maze, and it's a maze where I need to move the walls around. That's fine. Where is my target location? It was going to be here. So I just need a slug moving... Right, yeah, my plan was to have one going south here. Bounces there, goes that way, goes this way, turns around, turns around, turns around. Acts as obstacle so Flying Snake can come up here. Oh, that's not quite enough, is it? Yeah, it is. From here you can bounce down, go there, bounce up. Bounce on the slug that I will also insert in this spot. There's probably an order to these. They're going to be laying down poison, making it harder to get the other one into its position if I do them in the wrong order. But let's not worry about the order and see if I can just do it this way first. Like, my instincts are saying do this one first. Probably just because that's the first one the snake is interacting with. Okay. So that is a repeatable pattern. That would be as long as this block is here. It doesn't really help me though. Ah, but it could. No, I think I do like that. All right, let's start th this way. Let's see if I can make this work. Okay, so now clean up while you're doing that thing. Next step's gonna be... A thing that will kill me. Hmm. Well, you're st no, you're not stable there. Wait, no, this was part of my plan. That's right. This is all fine. Uh, it'd be great if I had cleaned up that little bit of poison there, and I can. So you're stable until I'm ready to do things with you, and I am here. Okay. You are inserted into the correct place now. Great. Then this one. I could also clean up some poison if I felt the need. I will need to get to you later. So let's go ahead and clean at least a path that gets me into this area. Hmm. Not so great. Don't think I can do that. I don't see a route out of here after that. So maybe not do that. If I can walk through there and make my kill, that'll be fine. Alright, let's just not slime up this spot. I don't think I'll need to. Okay, I see what I want to do here with you, roughly. I think if I can just send you north on this... Then I get ahead and do some things. Now you're bound for your destination. Okay, that was not so bad. Cool. So I sploosh this. Release Flying Snake. And now, use Slug Obstacles. Turn order is that way around, sure. Okay. South, north, not ready yet. Maybe about now-ish? Ooh, I need to be over here. Right about here? Sure. Great. Okay. That's what I wanted. Bomb bug explodes. Now I need to get back over... like this. And I do have access to both of these. Great! Okay. First puzzle solved, I think. Nice. Alright, way down will open up to me when I leave and come back. Okay, um, I'm curious about something. I can easily restore if I need to. Cannot go that way. And this... 
can't do this any longer, so I don't think there's anything down here. Oh, also, I could have looked over here and seen that there's no room there. That will tell me. <laughs> okay, cool. So, down. Perilous Rink. Alright. A lot of block barriers. You want some diagonal pushes. There's a monster block here... which is killed by that. A lot of ways to go there. There's a monster block here. That's a lot of bomb bugs. Three push blocks for line of sight blocking, presumably. Anyway, this monster block's gotta go there somehow. Boy, that sure is a somehow. I suppose the simple way to imagine this would be use these all as backstops. Number one inserts here and stops there. Number two also inserts there and stops here. Number three also inserts there, then gets exploded this way and stops here. Monster block gets inserted the same way, explodes this way, then explodes this way. Okay, so now, are there any practical things stopping me from doing that? There may be. Okay, just gonna do the simple. Let's see how far I get with it. You are kinda in my way, go over there for a bit. Alright, somebody, come this way. Why don't you go there? there. Mm -hmm. Sure, there are you. You are encroaching on my territory. Go away. Alright, that's number one. Yeah. Not ready for you yet. Number two. I haven't checked my bomb bug allocation, I'm just sort of assuming I'll probably have enough. Now, you're already in the correct row. I would like this one to move a little bit so it's not in my way. Great. Then... I need to set up some sort of explosion for this here. We got this slightly inconvenient situation where I gotta get a bomb bug past a monster block. That's fine, I know how to do that. Great. You are gonna have problems. I should probably move you out of there before I do this next step. Right there should be fine, maybe? Yes, there should be perfect, actually. Okay. You gotta go s north first. Hmm. That's fine, I can walk around. Cool. One north, some west, kaboom. Great. Very neat. Let's try west. Storage. Alright, infernal door. Waypoint. Cannot go this way. That's gonna be a return trip. Alright. Or if I get an infernal key, then I can make a bridge of my own, probably. Uh, looks like I can unpack at least a box or two, and I would only need two. Okay. Snail mail! Oh dear. <laughs> That's slightly worrying. Okay, so every plate there just does all of those doors. This one just does that one. That's your behavior. I can go in here once and come back out once. My guess is what I'm trying to do is get myself up on top of the slug and be up high, get carried around on a route that will go through all of these. I need three push blocks in here to do that. One here, one here, no. 
one here, one here, one here or here. You're gonna be just moving already. So I have a little bit of time pressure to get started and also there's gonna be poison here. Oh, this is something. So I think first sensible thing to do is just kind of lock up that slug. Am I supposed to do this with just two push blocks? I wonder. Yes, probably. Looking at ways to do that, and they're not quite as straightforward as I would want. Hmm, I don't want to push a, put a push block on a wall just yet. I'm gonna have to, though. Yeah, okay, so you're kind of like just starting off doing things right now. I'd like to stop you. So, yeah, just, just a test. If I wait... Oh, I mistook a turning direction. Alright. It happens to me, too. Alright, so you're just going back and forth there. That's fine. So this means... One, two... Uh, three, maybe? I'll have to get back out, so I might want you to end up there. Alright, so I think... First of all, let me make sure I know how to get myself... ...up to elevation 2. I think the way to do it is gonna be... ...kinda like this. Okay, cool. I'm gonna have to do that a little more. In fact, so much more that I won't have any spare blocks, will I? Alright, well first let's make a slug into a snail. There we go. Then put that for me to stand on, then this so that I can elevate myself, sure. Okay, so that part's set up. I can do my snail riding. Great. So now I just need to set up these two push blocks. Which feels like one too few, but I'm... It's just... There's something I'm not seeing yet. Feels like one too few, but somehow I need a route... ...that will take me on a tour across all of these. So I know that I can bounce on the pillars, yes. So I need one to disrupt. I need to I need to mount up. Kill, 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 kill. I'll be too high for them to shoot at each other, so none of that is applicable. Unless it is. It could be. Nah, then I wouldn't be getting out ever. Like, I gotta ride my snail the entire time. So if I put one here, I can make that kill, that kill, that kill, that kill... Then I'd have a problem with these two. Wait, hold on. No, that doesn't help. Lock here. Kill, kill, kill. Kill. Could get out. However, I need to do more work first. Second block here would mean I'd make that kill, and then I just wouldn't pass close enough to this one. get to set this up once, and I needed every one of these for all the stuff I'm doing here, as far as I can tell. Or 
Oh, and also, you need to be in a stable cycle that does do a tour between all of these and the getting off and getting on points. Okay, so you'll be going west, you'll bump into something probably here, but am I, am I falling into a trap by doing that? So Okay, so it can't be here. That would just make a little loop there. Here is pretty good. It kills four of them on its own. But how do I get this one that's offset? And this one that's not near anything? Maybe there's some way I could do... Oh, hello? This protrusion could be used for these two, maybe. Okay, so what if... What if here? Kill? Kill. Kill. And then... No. Yeah, like, these two feel like they're my main problems. Could block there, but then how do you ever... Oh, wait a second. Mm, no. Okay, so bumping into this pillar is of some interest. I can't put anything in this column be uh, unless you'll be, like, later running into it somehow. Because if I do, then you'll never drop me back off at the place where I get out. Because I'm dropping this trapdoor, I have to go in here and out here. Also gotta kill the slug at some point, but that's not a problem as long as I can get here. And it can get there. Okay. So with just two of these, I mean, I just gotta search out the... the route that'll do this. So bumping into, let's look at pillar bumps. This one going north, goes between those two, then goes into a stable loop. Bumping into this one going east, so that would mean a block here, and somehow I'm... doing something that doesn't seem possible. Okay, this is tricky to think about, just like the search space with sn slug looping patterns is... is a tricky one. I can't put a block here. As far as I can see, maybe there's a way. Not an easy one. I don't see any other way to influence this. Like, one of these has to go in this row. That's a given. Somewhere, whatever column here is the correct one, this can only go to, like, one other place. Alright, so let's check each one I can put it in. So here... That's terrible, and there's not really any way to improve it. So on your... When you're going south, you gotta get at least to row 13. So like here and here gets four of them, but leaves two. You go down there, you go that way. I can get out, but it's no good. So here, this one, this one, this one, then... Can I somehow... So if I'm ever bumping into this wall... It looks a lot to me like that means that I need to have nothing between here and here.
This is really hard to see. I, w I also wonder if my setup is correct. So I need this push to elevate myself. I need that down there to get me up, and I need to be able to step here, so that's... And I need this on top of the slug. So that's, that's all four of these blocks used. These are the only two I get here. As far as I can tell. I don't think there's a way to cheat in another one. Alright, so let's do some experimenting. Hang on. Let's use this fancy thing that I have. Checkpoint is set. Just gonna experiment. With this spot that looks like it's almost good. See, now that leaves me with... Uh... Hmm. Alright, well I guess I'll do this setup. Just to see if it does what I expect it to. I don't know how it wouldn't. Can clearly see the poison tray you're laying and it does not touch the things it needs to touch. Pow, pow, pow. Pow, and I can't have any more influence. I can get off, take care of the slug, sure. But those angry eyes remain. Uh, sure, so I can reset to my checkpoint. Alright. I didn't see anything downstream of putting a block there that could have been useful. So if you went all the way south... I could put one here. I guess that gets me one more than I had before. Still leaves Angry Eye A alive. Like it's closer, but it's not there. Nothing interesting about the fact that, that pushes one down to here. Okay, so, Angry Eye A, how do I deal with you? I need to be here, 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 or here. Alright, so here going west. Bumps into this and also gets those, and that, and that. That's not terrible. There are things I like about that. Kinda leaves Angry Eye C as the odd one out then. And I'm not so sure about returning to this row. Like, if you're going west here, how are you then going to be going west here? You'd need some kind of loop that takes you, like, like that around. And that's impossible because it would require an obstacle here in a place you're crossing over to get back to that. So that's clearly no good. Going west in this row is fantastic. That would be great. Okay, so I like that a lot, but that doesn't leave... That doesn't really leave me a way to get started. These two are on the outer edge, so as long as I'm going to the south edge somewhere over here, I'm getting them. These two are pretty easy. There's almost... There really is no way to avoid getting those unless I'm, like, putting an obstacle here and going south that way. So these two are a non-issue, these two are a non-issue, it's those. So a route that gets both of these. Okay, so a route that kills both of these. Any route that kills both of those. Okay, I see one. It has problems, though. It puts that in the place I don't want, and also... Yeah, there's other things I don't like. So you've painted out your area. It does not touch these two. Here's obviously bad because you go east and then you're just in loop. Anywhere farther east than this seems pretty bad to me.
So yeah, it feels like it's one of these over here. Like, one of these two, really. Um, maybe. But with just one more obstacle? Do I want to somehow find a way to get one here? That might be possible. Let's assume it were. What would you do? You still wouldn't touch A or C. These two are the problems. Okay. How complex can this loop be? Like, I feel like I need to involve the pillars in my looping plan. How, though? Okay, so bumping into pillars. Going this way, you turn there. Going this way, you turn there. Bumping north into this one is kind of cool. However, it does nothing for Angry Eyes C. How do you think that would even happen? Like, if no, if there were an obstacle here, you'd just be in a loop doing that. That's no good. I could break the loop with another... But no, like, the first one has to be in this row. Like, there's no getting around that. Unless there's something I'm not thinking of here, like a way to save a, a block somehow. So right, bumping into this north, kinda good. It gets a bunch at once. That gets all but one, really. Bumping into this going east, no good. Bumping into this going south, looks like a loop. Bumping into this going east, looks bad. Bumping into this going north, nope. Bumping into this going west, pretty good, because it's part of this loop. Uh, no good. Kind of vaguely good, not great. Don't think I like that. Don't like that much. Doesn't seem like it makes sense. I haven't been paying attention to what's on the floor. I don't think any of these floor markings are hintful. Okay, so bumping into either Angry Eye, A or C, going from south to north, does get all the others except C or A. So if I could set that up... So that would be... here and here? Oh, there we go. I think I found it. Like this, then? I don't think I'm in a race situation. This should loop properly. There we go, that's the loop I needed, okay. I figured it was some sort of complicated double loop, I just it took a lot of searching to find one that fit those uh, requirements. Alright, that's fine. Got it done. Cool. Oops. It's one of those puzzles where it really looks like I don't have enough resources, so I have to find the one way which I do. Cool! Alright, room is done. I'm not going over there yet. That'll be another day. Alright, cool stuff! This seems quite promising so far. Next time I'm gonna go east and see what's over there.